Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do Clair Obscur Expedition 33 on Arc GPU. Every Arc GPU from the A310 to the B570, uh, B580. Welcome to Response PC. I'm Dunk. Let's game on. We're going to play at 1080p with every card on my i5 12600K and 32 gigabyte of RAM. And I'm playing on Windows 11 Pro, if that changed anything. And the game is installed on the SATA SSD, Crucial B500 something something. We first start off with the A310, the lowest of the lowest of Intel Arc GPU. This is a 4 gigabyte VRAM card. We're playing at 1080p, lowest settings, XCSS at performance. Doesn't look that bad visually to be on the Vaseline mode. And we are quite stable in FPS. In the open world, we are in 32 FPS. And in combat, we sometimes drop in the mid 20s. But even in the mid 20s, the gameplay is smooth. I didn't encounter heavy starter of any kind, even with the 8310, because the GPU is using 5.2, 5.3 gigabyte of VRAM out of 4. So we're using the system memory to compare. Normally that uh, often end up as uh, some kind of a starter, but not this time. GPU is obviously pegged at 99%, but the CPU is in the mid-teens to low 20s percentage of its position. The RAM we're using 12 to 13 gigabyte of RAM out of 32. I'll say it's playable to some extent. If you're okay with this kind of uh, visual and uh, settings, this will be extreme budget. Next up is the A380. This is a 6 GB VRAM card. This is actually the card that the dev put in the proposed minimum requirement. I've tested it again on a longer period of time and I get at 1080p low settings balance XCSS like when I've tested on the proposed minimum requirement and this time I got 40 FPS. Some combat scenes are a bit more demanding for the GPU. That's why we have 8 FPS less than the, my original testing. GPU is pegged at 100% uh, using 5.7 out of 6 GB of VRAM. CPU didn't move at all and we're using uh, a bit less uh, RAM. In this uh, case we are at 10 GB of RAM. It is highly playable still. If you want more FPS you can drop the settings to XCSS performance but balance is good enough from my point of view. Maybe even can uh, crank a little bit higher to high XCSS or maybe put the medium settings with XCSS balance. Your call, you can view the settings for your preference in FPS and visual quality. Next up, one of my still favorite Arc GPU, the A580, a 8GB VRAM card. We're still at 1080p, but now I push the settings to I presets and XCSS AA or anti-aliasing or native, whatever you want to call it. So now we're no more in a Vaseline view. It's highly playable with really nice visual quality. We set up a preset at high with an average FPS of 36. This is highly playable for this kind of game. And if you compare to the Xbox, which is uh, 30 FPS uh, for high quality or 60 FPS for Vaseline view, I see 36 FPS uh, high quality. It's quite good. The GPU is big at 99%. Uh, perfect. Uh, we're using 6.4, 6.5 gigabyte of VRAM. The CPU is still in the low 20s and we're using 9.8 gigabyte of RAM. Next up we have the A750, also a 8 gigabyte VRAM card. I uh, use the same setting as the A580, so we are at 1080p, XCSS AA or native, and the preset of high. We get an average FPS of 37. We only get a gain of uh, 1 FPS over the A580. So we are in the margin of error, so maybe it's exactly the same thing if we get the exact same scene. Who knows? The GPU is back at 99%, that's what we want, uh, and for the VRAM usage, the CPU usage and the RAM usage is exactly the same thing as the A580 using 6.5 of VRAM, CPU in the 20s and 9.8 GB of RAM. So whatever the A750 has more than the A580 is not taken advantage in this situation, at least in this game. Next up, it's the Intel Arc A778 GB variant with the same setting as the A580 and the A750 1080p high settings XCSS AA native and we get somehow the same result as the A580 and A750 in the same mer margin of error. This time I get 35 FPS. GPU peg at 99, VRAM at 6.4, 6.5, CPU position in the 20s and 9.8 GB of RAM. So those three brothers are exactly the same for this game. 750s, A580 and 778 GB. Regardless of which one you have, it will be the same result. 
Next up is the A770LE. This is a 16GB uh, VRAM card and we're going to test at 1080p, XCSS AA native and EPIC preset settings. And even though this card is a 16GB VRAM, we maxed out at 7.8GB of VRAM digitization. CPU peg at 99%, uh, CPU still in the mid-20s and still using 9.5-9.6GB of RAM. But we are at EPIC settings and we get an average of 33fps with highs in the 40s and low in the mid-20s. So when you're in combat, the FPS drop in the 28-29 range. Not that it matters too much because the game is highly playable and stay super smooth. But if you want to be over the 30 FPS uh, threshold, drop the settings to high to get an average of 40 FPS with highs as 48 and low at the mid 30s. But with that quantity of VRAM, you can uh, play at a 1440p with uh, maybe medium or high settings. But we're going to test that on the 1440p testing of Arc GPU on Expedition 33. Now it's time for the Battle Mage series, starting with the B570. This is a 10GB VRAM card, but that won't really matter because we're barely using 6.5GB of VRAM. We're playing at 1080p, high settings, XCSS AA or native, and we get an average of 45 FPS. You can probably push the settings to EPIC instead of high, but the gain will be so few for the lost in FPS, so better keep at high settings. The FPS went as high as 55 and as low as 33, a bit more unstable on the FPS compared to the Alchemist uh, series. For the utilization, the GPU was in the 99% range of utilization, that's perfect. And like I said, it was at 6.2 GB of VRAM out of 10. CPU utilization stayed the same as all the other Arc GPU, but this time we're using 10.5 GB of RAM instead of uh, 8 and 9. And finally, the B580, 12 GB VRAM. We're playing at 1080p, EPIC preset settings, and XCSS AA or native. GPU peg at 99% using 7.5 GB of VRAM, CPU still in the low 20s and using 10.4 GB of RAM. All that to give us an average FPS of 40, dropping a little bit in combat in the mid 30s and going as high as 55 in open world running around. But I'm sure the B580 will thrive more at a 1440p that we're going to test this week or probably next week. In the end, the A310 can barely play the game. He can if you willing to sacrifice uh, some settings and visual quality and FPS. The A380 is really the minimum requirement on the ARC GPU for Claire Obscure Expedition 33. The A580, A750, A770 8GB variant all offer the same performance regardless of the settings. The A770 LE, B570 and B580, even if they give a good performance, I'm sure they will perform even better at 1440p. But stay tuned, the video is not out yet. And that's all for the Intel ARC GPU on Claire Obscure Expedition 33. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. And subscribe.